Scotland, land of the brave and heroic, home of the kilt, the bagpipe, and haggis. Up until now, you probably thought that haggis was an acquired taste. I know that I certainly did. But I'm about to head off on a haggis tour, and it's definitely not for gourmets. I want you all to sing your own national anthem at the same time, and we'll see who can sing it the loudest and the best. The Flood of Scotland! I'm joining these revellers on day two of their three-day Haggis Plus. Haggis is the name of the company, and this is a round trip from Edinburgh, taking in the highlights of the Highlands. So beautiful. We're on our way to the Isle of Skye, one of the most rugged parts of the Scottish Highlands. Our driver and guide is Graham. He's from Glasgow, talks very fast, and his love of Scotland is infectious. Does that song not make your heart just beat a bit faster and make you want to fall in love with somebody Scottish? to fall in love in that true, deep, Scottish kind of way that you can only ever experience if you love somebody Scottish or somebody Scottish loves you. First stop on Sky, and Graham takes us down to the Sligahan River to tell us the highland secret of eternal youth and beauty. Now that's why I brought you all down here to make you sexy and beautiful forever. To put your face in the river for seven seconds and seven seconds only. Now you may laugh. I laughed when I was told this story 312 years ago. <laughs> I am living proof that this works and I will give you an example of what to do. Don't leave until you've all done it. That's enough. Leave some beauty for me. All right. Pull me up if I'm down for too long. Hey, hey. She says that to all the boys. Gorgeous forever. Hey. Now that we're all dead sexy, we're starving. But before we can eat, we have to earn our lunch by hiking up to what feels like the top of sky at Kurang. Right, guys, you ready? I want you to do a bigger shout this time. Let me hear you all shout. Haggis! Haggis! And on that note, we arrive at Saucy Mary's, our home for tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, seeing as you're all in Scotland now, we need to have a, a little traditional meal. Uh, we have some haggis here and some totties for you to have later on. And because you're a special guest, Katrina, we would like you to cut open the chieftain of the pudding race. Oh, I'm honoured. <laughs> Thank you. Is there an art to this? Is there any way to... Just grab the knife and stick it in. Right. So it all oozes out. <laughs> OK, then. All right, are we ready? <laughs> Slice it in. Boom. Boom. Slangeva! Oh, yeah. hey. oh, wow. <laughs> it actually smells wow. pretty good. It tastes damn good as well. Just don't think about what it is. Is that the tip? Is that the tip? Just don't think about it. You don't it. know what it is. I don't want to know what well, it is. That's all right then. <laughs> well, I have an inquisitive appetite, so why not? Oh, good. It tastes really beautiful. Yeah. Go on then, yeah. Try some more. I will try some more. Appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's very good. Absolutely. I swallowed. <laughs> this isn't going to be bad. That's a giveaway. I'm just thirsty. <laughs> okay, guys, this is us coming to the high castle where Highlander was filmed. 
as he's looking damn fine this morning. Let's see some appreciation for you now. Appreciate! Yeah! Look at that! The next morning, our bus full of bleary-eyed travellers takes off back to the mainland. And first stop is Island Onan Castle, the most photographed castle in Scotland. I think I've learned more about Scottish history in two days from Graham than I ever did at school. What is brilliant about Graham, though, is he makes history come alive. And they picked up Robert the Bruce's heart and they threw it into the enemy, shouting, Lead on, my brave heart! This is Glen Nevis, where the movie Braveheart was filmed and the story of William Wallace was immortalised. Sons of Scotland, we are gathered here together to come here and fight in defiance of tyranny and tell him they may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom! As we head closer to Edinburgh, the mood on the bus is still pumping. Just to be the man who wants a thousand miles to fall down and shoot. It doesn't really matter how you travel through this country, because in the end, everyone's emotions are stirred by Scotland, where this company is kicking goals is that the three brothers who run it have chosen to keep the tours small. They give you a choice on where to stay. And as everyone will tell you, they recruit master storytellers as guides, people with an irrepressible passion for their land. Everything else is just whiskey cream on your haggis. Appreciate! Woo! Appreciate more!